It's 70 degrees, very humid given it's mid-March. These are getting close to summertime levels of humidity that do point uh, in the upper 60s. The reason why those winds out of the southeast are pumping us full of humidity. They've been strong and steady all week long. The muggy meter is going to register humid today and tomorrow. A cold front coming in Sunday uh, a little after noon time, I think, is going to uh, drop the humidity levels Sunday and into early next week. But uh, we'll have humid air here. It'll feel sticky outside. Uh, there's some coastal sea fog around Copano and San Antonio Bay's Texas Tropical Trail north of Rockport and Fulton. Uh, there may be some patchy light fog there, but nothing is dense thanks to the winds being a bit breezy. No one's really seeing calm winds. If these were like 5 to 10 miles per hour area wide, we'd likely have a lot more fog coming in from the Gulf, but it's breezy enough to keep the atmosphere mixed up. It's also keeping temperatures in the upper 60s and low 70s. So in addition to that little bit of patchy coastal fog, we have some low level cloud coverage in place. We'll have partly cloudy skies as the day goes on. Very similar to the way it's been the last few days. High pressure over the southeast, bringing in that humidity. Uh, when air circulates around high pressure and it's in the you know southeast US, we call this return flow uh, because you know the air's dry over that high pressure and then it's coming back around it and just feeding us full of humidity. It happens time and time again here. We've got two systems to watch, one moving into California, another one south of the Aleutian Islands. Both of these will drop weak cold fronts here. The first one comes in on Sunday. The second one comes in on St. Patrick's Day next Wednesday. So we'll show you how this all unfolds. It's gonna be a slow mover, the one in California this morning, uh, but it eventually does drop a cold front through here around noontime. A few tenths of an inch of rain going to be possible Sunday morning and early afternoon uh, and temperatures actually may fall into the mid 60s briefly and then rebound into the 70s on Sunday afternoon. So that's going to be a variable day of weather. Some rain in the morning, a little temperature drop midday and then we quiet down Sunday afternoon. Monday, Tuesday look pretty nice as this front stalls to our south and then retreats back to the north. And that'll be our next front on Wednesday coming in St. Patrick's Day. Another little chance for rain. Not ready to talk totals on this one yet, but it doesn't look impressive. And temperatures in the wake of that one will go from the low 80s to the low 70s between Wednesday and Thursday with 50s at night. But you see there, nothing too crazy on the temperature department at or a little above seasonal normal on both the highs and the lows for the next seven days. Today, near 70 in the morning, partly cloudy, warm and breezy this afternoon, highs near 80. Tonight we do the same thing, a few little stray showers possible and with some coastal sea fog, otherwise cloud coverage in upper 60s overnight. The last of these warm, windy days on Saturday, and then that front comes in on Sunday, changing things just a little bit. Today, 82, partly cloudy, warm and windy, 15 to 25 mile per hour winds from the southeast. Tonight, they'll stay breezy, 68 overnight, a little bit of coastal sea fog or a stray shower, but otherwise fairly quiet tonight. Uh, we bump those clocks ahead an hour into Sunday morning. We lose an hour of sleep, displacing sunrise sunset to one hour later. That front on Sunday does give us some morning showers, only a tenth of an inch or two drier in the afternoon and temperatures in the mid 70s, low 80s early next week. And there's that second front on St. Patrick's Day, Green Day. Also a good band, John Thomas. <laughs>